Okay, we're going to start with something that's very simple and very familiar, which is a positive times a positive. So something like this, 3 times 4, that's the kind of thing you've been doing since you were in grade 2 or 3. 3 times 4, what does that mean? It means we've got 3 lots of 4. In other words, we've got 1, 2, 3 lots of 4, and that's very easy. The answer there is 12. And so what we see here is that if we have a positive and we multiply it by a positive, we get a positive answer. I'm just going to write pause for positive because I don't have enough space to fit it in. Okay, let's look for the next one. The next one's a bit different. It's a positive and you're multiplying it by a negative. But the meaning of the multiplication has to be the same. So in other words, what this is, is you've got seven lots of negative 3. In other words, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 lots of negative 3. Now, you've been doing your addition and subtraction of negative numbers, so you know immediately that this adding a negative is just the same as subtracting. So what you've got here is exactly the same as this and then if we want to calculate that we start here we've got negative 3 we must take three steps further down we get to negative 6 another 3 negative 9 negative 12 negative 15 negative 18 negative 21 so we end up at negative 21 so what we see here is that what we calculate, we get 7 times 3 is 21, but the answer is in fact negative. So the answer is negative 21. So any time we've got a positive and we multiply it with a negative, our answer is going to be negative. Now the next one actually follows straight away. Negative 5 times 2 is exactly the same as 2 times negative 5 because when we're dealing with multiplication the order in which we do it doesn't matter we can always switch it around so basically it's two lots of negative 5 and we've just seen that that's going to give you a negative answer so if we've got a negative times a positive it has to give you the same answer as a positive times a negative because with multiplication the order doesn't matter. So negative 5 multiplied by 2 is going to give you negative 10. Now the very last one is actually the very complicated one. A negative times a negative. And I'm going to just tell you the answer here. If you take a negative and you multiply with a negative, it gives you a positive. Now that is a bit of a funny thing. and. And if you think about it, a negative times a negative is quite hard to make sense of. With three lots of four, we could understand it's three lots of four. In other words, it's a four, a four, and a four. And here, this seven lots of negative three, it's seven negative threes, right? But negative nine times negative seven, it's hard to make sense of. We can't say there's negative nine lots of negative seven. Very hard to explain it simply and easily what that means. So I'm going to ask you just for this while to just take it from me that in order for it all to make sense nicely mathematically, we have to have a negative times a negative being equal to a positive. So negative 9 times negative 7, we're just going to say 9 times 7 gives us 63. We want it to be positive 63. Okay. We've now got all of those ideas in place, and I hope you've written them all into your table, right? A positive times a positive is a positive. Positive times negative is negative. Negative times positive is negative. And a negative times a negative gives me a positive. And this is just something that you really may need to make sure that you just know. Okay, so then we can apply it. If we've got 3 times negative 5, we're dealing with positive times negative. We know our answer must be negative. And we know our times tables, I hope. So 3 times 5 is 15. So it is negative 15. Next one, negative times negative. We know that we are having to get an answer that is positive. And we know our times tables. 2 times 4 gives me 8. And we're going to make it a positive answer. So it's positive 8. 
Let's look at the next one. What multiplied by negative 6 is going to give me negative 18? Well, can you see we're in the position where our answer is negative, and the thing that's being multiplied by is also negative. So negative, negative. So the thing here has to be a positive. So the thing here, positive. In other words, we're going to take it as 3. 3 times negative 6 is going to give you negative 18. Now, multiplication and division are very closely related to each other. So all of these facts that we've just established for multiplication work just as well for division. In other words, we could go and replace everything there by a division sign, and it would mean exactly the same. So a positive divided by a positive is a positive. A positive divided by a negative is a negative. So we can answer these questions now. We've got 24 divided by something must give me 6. Well, we want our answer to be positive, and we have the thing that's being divided as positive, so the thing underneath must also be positive. So it's 24 divided by 4. What about this one here? Well, our answer is positive, so we're in those two situations. But the thing that's being divided is negative, so we're here. So negative divided by a negative will give me a positive, so I have to put in a negative 4 to get our answer of positive 6. Now that we've done multiplication and division, as well as an addition, addition and subtraction, uh, we need to bring that all together. Um, and one of the things that we need to make sure about is that we don't start mixing them up and using the rules for multiplication and division when we're actually doing addition and subtraction. So one of the things I suggest that you do any time before you start doing any calculating is ask yourself, are we in the multiplication division world? In which case it's easy. You can just use the rules, right? Positive times positive is positive. Negative times negative is positive. Positive times negative is negative. And, you know, there's rules, right? Whereas if you're in the addition subtraction world, you've got to think a little bit. Where are you? Are you going up? Are you going down? You know, so you need to be very clear. You can't use those positive times positive is positive. Negative times negative is positive when you're in the addition subtraction world. So it's always important to just make clear which world are you in before you start? So let me show you what I mean. Say, for example, we've got to do a negative 2 subtract 5. So I look at this thing, and before I do anything, I say, which world am I in? Well, it's negative 2 subtract 5, so I am in my addition subtraction world. And how do I do addition and subtraction? Well, I just think about where am I? I'm at negative 2 and I'm going down five steps. I'm going to get even more negative. So I am going to get to negative 7. Next one, negative 2 multiplied by negative 5. Now I'm in the multiplication world. That's easy, right? Negative times negative is positive and 2 times 5 is just 10. The next one here, this is just an, um, a thing which we're going to see more and more as we get into algebra. Often, if we just write two things in brackets next to each other, uh, what we mean is that the multiplication, the sign that's been left out is multiplication. And you might have seen it when you did algebra. AB just means A times B. Similarly here, if you just got brackets, bracket, it means that there's a multiplication that has been left out, and so you need to think of it as multiplication. So this is easy, negative times negative is positive, and so your answer is 10. What about this one, negative 2 subtract negative 5? First question, ask myself, which world am I in? I am dealing with subtraction, so I'm in the addition subtraction world. In the addition subtraction world, the first thing I need to do is get rid of this brackety thing here, right? Subtracting a negative, right? That's like taking away some cold, so we're going to get hotter. So subtracting a negative is the same as adding. And if we've got negative 2 plus 5, we're here at negative 2, and we're going to be going up 5 steps. And so we're going to end in the positives, and it's a difference, so our answer is going to be 3. Okay, quickly do these ones for yourselves and check that you can do it. Remember, each time just decide if you're in addition, subtraction, or multiplication, division world. Okay, so this one, 
Multiplication division world, so very easy. Positive times negative is negative. Answer is negative 15. This one again, when we've just got nothing with the bracket, that's the multiplication thing that we need to think of. So we've got exactly the same as the previous, and we get this. Here, however, we've got addition. We're in the addition subtraction world. So what we've got to do is first take care of the Take care of the bracket. Adding a negative is the same as subtracting. And 3 subtract 5. You're at 3. And you're going to come down 5 steps. And so you're going to end in the negatives. And it's a difference. So it's negative 2. One last quick thing that people get confused about is this story. Um, when we're doing squaring, cubing, or whatever. How do we know whether this affects the sign or not? So... Remember, if you're squaring something, right, so if we've got 5 squared, it just means 5 times 5, right? If we have a million squared, it means a million times a million. So whatever is being squared is just multiplied by itself. Now have a look here. This squared applies only to the 3. It's not applying to the negative. So what you've got is you've got a negative, and then it's the 3 that's squared. So it's 3 times 3. So your answer is negative 9. The difference here is that this squared is applying to the whole negative 3. And so it's that whole negative 3 that needs to be multiplied by itself. And so in this case, you get negative times negative, and you get positive. So it is positive 9. OK, pause the video, try the next one for yourself, and then we'll quickly get the answer afterwards. All right, here we go. There's a negative. Here's negative 4 squared. So it's negative 4 multiplied by negative 4. We're in the multiplication world. Negative times negative is positive. And so we get 16. Then here we have a subtraction. Now we've got negative 9 over negative 3. We're in the multiplication division world. Negative over negative is positive. 9 over 3 is 3. And this whole 3 is then cubed. And so we've got negative 16 subtract 27. So here we are. We're at negative 16. We're going to go 27 further down. So we're going to get even more negative. 16 and 27 is going to give me 43. So we get to our answer of negative 43.